Okay, the reason I'm filming this video is just to make a point what Gucci, it is a name of a very strong emporium, strong legacy of quality, beauty, prestige, detail. This is what Gucci represent to me. This is the, some of the Gucci items I own. I went crazy when I saw, you know, that Gucci was actually having a makeup line. I was a little bit reluctant just for the fact that I explained before, you know, which has been known for the quality, you know, on the shoes versus production of glasses. So I don't know what to think about this, but we will see very soon. Hello, hello, this is uh, Jeanette from Makeup Artist. I'm filming from here, San Antonio, Texas, um, in this beautiful, beautiful sunny day. That is the first sunny day of the entire this week. But to show you, if you can see that beautiful bouquet of flowers, oh. and my beautiful husband, he bought me those flowers and um, they are just mesmerizing and and i thought because the smell and those flowers you know are expelling is so beautiful it is a great emporium as a brand it is a name of legacy it is a name of a classy elegancy it's a staple of the industry you know of the not only of the fashion but so far, I understand lately, you know, eh, about the makeup beauty. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Stay until the end because it's going to be very fun. I'm going to be doing, you know, um, a makeup look based on the eyeshadow palette number two. And putting a tiny little bit, you know, of my creativity showing you what i can do the best which is in the field the editorial high fashion creative makeup look i want to explain to you my friend that all my videos are filmed in 4k and i use a combination of natural light with artificial light for the purpose on uh, of the finish you know on the product that I'm using. So I have two big windows here by my right and I open the blinds and I use, you know, the artificial light from my studio. So that way I can have a combination and I can see better, you know, how the product is performing, how the color is actually, you know, behaving and you can get a better idea about, you know, the finish so that was imperative for me to explain to you so you can bet you can get a better resolution i am the editor of my videos and i'm not a hundred percent perfect i'm not an expert on that but i am the one that i do the editing so you see some little mistake here and there you forgive me please <laughs> you know we all commit mistakes sometimes but i promise you i try my best now that we are speaking about the brand so i got for christmas this gorgeous i want to say that is more casual sunglass look at that 
so this was my son's gift because let me tell you every three to four years i like to renew my glasses and unbelievable but last me that long so my son gave me the blue case with those beautiful casual glasses and my gorgeous husband he gave me this one because he knows i have astigmatism so always i'm looking for the darkest of the darkest on the glasses and i got this one oh my i was wanting to cry so this is not to brag about it my friends but let me tell you, I am not exception about knowing Gucci. Now, I will going to share this information with you. In 2014, Gucci decided to release, we cannot say to launch, because they specifically said to release and about of 200 lipsticks, face product, powders, I want to say foundation so far, I understand, and little other things here and there. So when I saw the makeup, and I was thinking, wait a minute, to say, they are trying to lunch or a beauty line when they never specialize on this and i thought maybe it's another commercial thing so i was pretty reluctant okay here is um it's called fluid detente mm, fluid debuté fine natural meaning it is natural finish I'm using my friends, the shade uh, is 220 neutral over there. 220 neutral. This um, foundation is lightweight. Um, had a natural finish, you need to shake it very well before using it. It's suitable for all kind of skin, regardless if you have like a, a dry skin, oily skin, combination of a skin, it's suitable, okay? It is designed with a texture to appear to blur all the imperfections and to make pores less visible. It's a feather light, a kind of a buildable fluid foundation and offer a very controlled coverage um, for your face. It's a lightweight, it's very silky, and smooth your, your complexion, and it's very easy to apply. And it is retailed for $68. Okay, my friends, remember when I told you and you really need to shake this product before using that is a very specific interaction okay i was shaking it like for about 15 minutes it was not enough but it was you know uh spraying like a watery fluid but it is made to do that so it is like a, the the product in the very top of the pump has some wat watery, you know, fluid, probably to protect the product. But once that those few drops of that water are completely out of the, of the pump, you know, you can see actually the real consistency of the product. And the product is totally creamy, um, like a airbrush product. Remember, my loves, when I teach you, when you applied your products, product, I'm sorry, always start from the center of your face out. I have a lot of baby hairs. 
that. And you go down to your neck, my loves. Make sure always that you go in between, you know, on the corner of your nose. My loves, one pump. And I literally did my entire face. This is like a half of a pump. Okay, so I'm going to soak. It's so like an airbrush. Look at that. So I'm going to start applying that on my forehead. But let me take a little bit of the product on my nose. So don't worry because we are going to fix any excess. I like this um this brush from Bidilium. Is Bidilium? Yes. My love, look. Is is an airbrush product, okay? That is no doubt. It's silky. Super silky. What I can say? Silky, smooth, easy to diffuse. Lightweight. So it's a lightweight formulation. My friends, I show it to you. It's like nothing. It is, it's like it's evaporating. I hope that you can observe. And I'm very close to the camera, so you can see. I have large pores on this area. And like the product says, yes, it is blurring my pores, the texture. Oh, wow. Wow. Now I think you can become an obsessed with the beauty line. <laughs> Setting a spray that is called Brumet. The beauty is retailed for a, to a price of $78. And what I can say about this product, my friends, is a glowy, hydrating beauty mist to prep, set, and refresh your skin. Uh, besides that said, okay, I was checking is colorless. The container is glass. As the foundation, I forgot to mention, is glass, which I really appreciate it. I love it when the product comes on glass because, in my opinion, maintain the life of the product longer. Um, this product is formulated with soothing and protective ingredients as well as hydrating properties for up to 48 hours. I'm going to set my foundation with this and let us see I don't want to spray here oh that is nice so we're going to wait for a little bit so where there says to prolong the life of your foundation you can apply it you know and let it set we're going to continue with probably the most wanted and weight uh, of the product mm -hmm. so i'm going to introduce you to gucci palette beauté des jux it's a gorgeous flora eyeshadow palette it retailed for a price of 152 dollars this palette oh. okay get ready my friends come in this velvet gorgeous beautiful pouch it's a velvet it's a the same kind of material that the face powder come okay so this is metal it's very solid very substantial case 
the case is just mesmerizing my friends this product of this palette they put uh, upside down is the zero two and was made in italy let me open this product this is the way that it come that is the colors so come with uh, a plastic chill protector and it's protecting all the shades okay that was on top and come with a little wings over there so you can because the plastic is not a, like a any plastic is a very solid hard plastic and over here my love look what i found okay you can lift the palette and you can insert any other palette or in any other case my friend you go out i've been thinking why not to put your credit card over there your credentials and voila and this is a very very hard plastic and it's easy to put Thinking about the palette says that it's a limited edition gorgeous flora makeup eyeshadow include 12 satin matte and metallic shade available in a large color range which make the palette very vers versatile it is encased in a limit edition packing featuring the emblematic Gucci Beauty Flora pattern for all kind of um, skin tone. I want to ask you all a question. How many of you would like to see my studio? Right? This palette, I can tell you as a makeup artist, you can rock on summer okay so i'm going to start playing with this beauty so i uh, was paying attention that this palette doesn't have any name okay but look at that finish my friend this is why i like to have natural light and the artificial light because when i saw this palette at the store it didn't make much sense to me when I saw it, but it was something special about the color story. I'm going to grab my Kitco. It's a blending brush, very last satin shade to be diffused in my upper eyelid, okay? Oh, oh my goodness, my friend. This is stunning. Wow. <laughs> you won't believe, but it's like putting glass. Oh my. I'm very crazy, my friends, when I do makeup, okay? So don't forget for any minute that I'm on the feel of the high fashion and editorial makeup look. Oh my gosh, my friends, you need to really look at this finish like a, a soft, glassy shade. Okay, I think I'm falling in love already. And Gucci is going to have a client for a while. So it's a shade of transition for me and I'm bringing this shade all the way to my temples, same here. To imagine that I'm applying highlighter from far wow my friend 
um, I don't know, I don't want to waste any little bit of the product that is left on my brush. Let me tell you that the finish of this pale rose as a transition shade, my friends, it's just stunning. Yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm using this beautiful, I'm sorry, this beautiful light blue. I am just mesmerized. And I'm using a um, Patrick Ta blending brush, okay? This is another shimmer shade. Since I did apply a very soft rose underneath, go very nicely together. Let me see what shades I should be using next because this palette is pretty new for me. I am combining a tiny little bit of the intense blue It's like a purple blue. Can you see the transition between the pale pink with a tiny little blue? And now I'm applying this dark blue. I'm mesmerized with this palette. And I'm going upwards, okay? Just making a very nice transition. I love this type of brushes, okay? More when I know that I'm going to be working with metallic finish. My bit, my loves. The worst thing you can do is to try to remove the excess on the palette. This palette is specifically, specifically, you know, plastic. So if you want to clean excess, you do it on your hand, okay? So I'm going to follow the shape of my eye. As you can see over there, I'm following, you know, my natural arch. This is a Morphe brush. So I go around there. Remember always grabbing your brush from the tip. And now I switch to this one. I'm working with uh, three brushes at a time, okay? I'm using the very sky blue shade on this very corner to give the impression I'm applying like an icy shade, okay? It's just stunning. I'm going with the darkest blue In order to continue, I'm going to apply Gucci Eyeliner, it's in black. Wow, it's amazing, it's so far no bleeding of the product. Wow, you can judge by yourselves, it's gorgeous, gorgeous product. I notice that the tip is really hard. Wow, 
now you see what I was saying that the little wing was just necessary for the for the shape the wing is not a typical wing I'm rounding it here okay because I'm forming with the same shade the wing okay back to you um, as you already know any of my works are just a simple you know work I always have some type of complexity is just you know about preference I'm applying it in a little bit of setting a uh, setting powder so that prevent my friends my beautiful friends that prevent than the product I already put here can transfer you know to the lower eyelid when you are working you know on on makeup look uh, a little bit elaborated like this always is good after the application you know to apply a tiny little bit of a uh, setting powder so that way it's going to help you to keep the product in the right place and you don't have to worry about the, about the transferring, okay? I'm emphasizing yes. A little bit more. This blue line. Okay, you see, so it's very pretty. In order to do this, always make sure that your pencil is really sharp. So that way you are going to be able to make a sharp line. mesmerize look as you apply the mascara is completely dry o sea the eyeliner i'm sorry wow 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 unbelievable my friends it's crazy it's um it's not bleeding So normally um, it is just, you know, important making sure that we're back and forth reviewing what we're doing to don't lose subject. And I do have a feedback regarding the liquid eyeliner. Okay, what is the, the pros on this? Amazing, amazing on the application. Once then you draw the line, I don't know how that happened, but got instantly dry. Versus Tom for the, the tip of the pencil is extremely, extremely flexible. Okay. Other okay. Uchi. And this is a 
and make a remover. It doesn't move. There we go. It's beautiful, uh, this palette, what I can say. Yeah. <sighs> what I can say about this palette, I'm mesmerized about the performance. What a beautiful product, my friends. Oh my goodness. I am an Awi, honestly, okay? So, this is the Gucci number two. It's retail for $155. I'm applying a little light. Using Christian Labotin. So chic. Yes, so chic palette. It is time for my contour. Okay. Look at this babe. This is a uh, the bronze from Gucci, Eclat Soleil, Podre Debuté. I'm using the shade number two. Wow, the finish, my friends, I can tell, tell right away, is super, super natural okay from the foundation now that it's been a little bit you know since i did apply it i like the fact that i have read the uh, red cheekbones and the foundation didn't cancel that natural redness I did apply it in a little bit under, just with the left, over from my brush. Mesmerizing. Actually, my friend, this product is airbrush finish. What a beautiful uh, bronzer. I'm speechless, honestly. Okay, there, look at it <laughs> now. So I'm going to grab my refer. Okay, by the way, the bronzer brush was the 22 by refer. There it is. And I'm grabbing my blush. Brush is the 04 by refer. Okay. So my friend, one more time. I've been using before a Before this tutorial, I was using this product and another makeup look and is stunning. If you want to give a little youthful look fresh to your face, you just apply the leftovers, you know, of your blush into the apples of your cheeks okay i'm using a crayon contour for lips it's called rouge 04 crayon contour the lips is 04 okay uh, pencil i retail for 36 dollars What a beautiful chain, my friends. Look what I found, okay? This is uh, a lip stain by Gucci. You know the price of uh, the of the blushes, they are retail, each one for $49. It is called um, Bright Coral, and the pink is Radiant Pink. Okay, so each one is a retailer for $49. So I'm going to retouch a tiny little bit more. The blush. My 
beautiful friend and I'm going to do latches, okay? So, my goodness, I really, really like the finish of these brushes. They are beautiful. All the brushes that I use are refer. Okay, over here, my, my beautiful friends, I have uh, the two different shades of lip stain I bought from Gucci. They are a bell belt finish. The lip stain, you can feel, you don't feel like you are wearing anything. Look at this chain, my friends, and look at this one. This one is called Odalia Red Lip Stain. And this one that is more like a nude orangey is called Janet Rust. It's a gorgeous shade. This is like a for an everyday looking. This is a little bit more like a for evening, okay? But they are stunning. Okay, my friends, look at this eyes now with the application of the eyelashes using my forever and ever colors glue you can find this at amazon or at colors.com it's latex free so you can use it with without precaution i use actually this um Adhesive uh, for all the editorial or high fashion creative makeup look when I have to work with my fabric, uh, rhinestones, or more. And I did apply these eyelashes. These eyelashes are from Tati Lashes and are called TL Mitchell 2. They're my favorite eyelashes because they are very lightweight. Okay. The mascara. Okay. Wow, this is black. When you do this, my friend, try to don't disturb the application of your falsies, okay? I so really like it. Wow. It's very creamy, waterproof, super black. Wow. With this said, my friends, this makeup look is complete every single product the gel eyeliner that i use from gucci everything had me in an hour okay um like I, I said in the very beginning knowing gucci you know because i am a fan number one from you know, the fashion style shoes, quality glasses, like I was sunglasses. Uh, I couldn't expect, or say my expectation was extremely big. Uh, I was completely wrong. The quality of this product are just insane. Here is what it is. I was showing from far type of formula and the pigmentation wise extremely strong so with a little bit of this product you go a long way i love the cover it makes me happy you know i'm very sorry that i didn't get to buy the first one the first palette quality the payoff the versatility of this palette. This palette is to make so many looks. You know, it's a, you can go from day to evening. Look at this. Um, just applying a tiny little bit, I went with this tremendous look. This look is crazy. It's a, and I was wanting, you know, to take the best I could to show you the performance of this palette okay i hope that you actually can appreciate the finish of these shades you know how silky how uh, uh, 
buttery they are. It's easy to blend. There was a tiny little fallout. I want to set on the fallout it was coming from the dark blue, but it was nothing significant that I couldn't fix. I didn't put no highlighter on my face since it's a lot of light going on on my eyes. My friend, don't forget to subscribe, please. If you really like this kind of content, you know, in which I can do a brand review, a makeup brand review, like a I recently also did the Christian Labutin. Okay, today was all about Gucci. Inbox me, make a comment if you want to know a certain brand and you would like to know the performance. Uh, I have uh, uh, no compromise with any brand in particular, so I'm not obligated to be favoring somebody you know, by saying that a product is better or not better. I'm going to be telling you my impression on the make. So I couldn't be more happy with this look. It's, I think it's just stunning. So one more time, don't forget to subscribe, like my channel, please. Before you leave me, thank you so much for dedicating me your time. Thank you for listening to my craziness and to see this creative you know, uh, ideas that I have about the makeup. Um, like I'm saying, I couldn't help with that because I am a makeup artist, a pro makeup artist in the field of editorial, high fashion, um, and creative. Do what you do best. Just click the button of the subscribe, like my channel, please. And thank you so much again. I'm here by Pure Heart trying to help you know, in some way to, if you can understand something, you know, about a formulation in a product, I'm here to do it, to make it happen. So one more time, my loves, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And it's not about bragging. I'm not bragging about anything. I just, the intention is to show, to teach and to be constructive and instructive. So thank you so much and see you very soon. Thank you.